Suppose you invest $160 a month for eight years into an account earning 5% interest compounded monthly. After eight years, you stop making deposits into the account and leave the money in the account for another 10 years. How much will you have in the end? For the first eight years when you are making monthly deposits, we can determine the balance after eight years using the annuity formula here, again because you are making monthly deposits, and then for the 10 years where you leave the money in the account but don't make deposits, we can use the compounded interest formula shown here below. So let's first determine the account balance after eight years using the annuity formula. A, the account balance after eight years is equal to, and then we have this fraction where PMT is the monthly payment, which is $160. And then we have times, and then in parentheses, one plus R divided by N raised to the power of NT, where R is the annual interest rate as a decimal, 5% is equal to 0 0.05. N is the number of compounds per year, and the interest is compounded monthly. There are 12 months a year, and therefore N is 12, so we have divided by 12. And this sum is raised to the power of N times T, where again N is 12, and T the time in years is eight. And then we have minus one, close parenthesis. And then we divide all of this by R divided by N, where R again is 0 0.05, and N is 12. And now we go to the calculator and evaluate this and round to the nearest cent. One thing I do want to mention here though, when using the calculator, it's always better to be safe and include a set of parentheses around the numerator and denominator. So when we enter this into the calculator, we'll enter it in with another set of parentheses around the numerator. So we enter open parenthesis 160, open parenthesis, another open parenthesis, and then we have one plus 0 0.05 divided by 12, close parenthesis, and this is raised to the power of 12 times eight, which is 96. So we press the exponent key. We can enter 12 times eight or 96. I'll go ahead and enter 12 times eight. To get out of the exponent position, we press the right arrow, and then we have minus one, close parenthesis, for this parenthesis here, another close parenthesis for the numerator, and then we have divided by, in parentheses, 0 0.05 divided by 12, close parenthesis, and enter. To the nearest cent, the balance is $18,838.48. Let's go ahead and record this above. And now from here, you stop making monthly deposits and this amount stays in the account for another 10 years, earning 5% interest compounded monthly. So to determine the balance after 18 years, this will be the starting balance for a compounded interest, which will stay in the account for an additional 10 years. So using the compounded interest formula, A, the amount after the 10 years, where you don't make deposits is equal to P sub zero, which is a starting amount of $18,838.48. And then we have times one plus R divided by N, which again is 5% as a decimal, which is 0 0.05 divided by N is 12, because interest is compounded monthly. And this is raised to the power of N times T, which is 12 times 10. It's not 18 because remember, the first eight years, you're making monthly deposits, so we use the annuity formula. And then for the last 10 years, you don't make deposits, and therefore it's earning just compounded interest for 10 years. And now we go back to the calculator, and again round to the nearest cent. So we have 18,838.48 times the quantity one plus 0 0.05 divided by 12. And this is raised to the power of 12 times 10 or 120. We press the exponent key, 120, and enter. So after the 10 years of just earning compound interest, the account balance to the nearest cent is $31,027.16. 
And again, let's go ahead and record this above. So this is the account balance after 18 years, where again, for the first eight years, you make monthly deposits of $160, and then for the last 10 years, you leave the account untouched, only earning compound interest. We're also asked to determine the total interest earned. To determine the total interest earned, we start with the account balance after 18 years, and then subtract out all the payments you made into the account over the eight years. So beginning with the balance after 18 years, we have $31,027.16. And then we subtract all the deposits you made into the account, and you deposited $160 each month for eight years. The number of months in eight years is eight times 12, because there are 12 months per year. Eight times 12 is 96, giving us 31,027.16 minus 160 times 96. The 96 represents the total number of months over the eight years. So going to the calculator, we have 31,027.16 minus 160 times 96, which is $15,667.16. So over the 18 years, you earn a total of $15,667.16. $667.16 of interest. I hope you found this helpful.